practitioner, master herbalist, and in today's Z Natural Foods Urban Superfood Education Program video, I want to talk about the topic of what a mentor is and what role they can play in different people's lives. Um, I myself personally have mentored uh, many young lifters and um, I've also mentored five uh, younger master herbalists who are graduates from a variety of different herb schools um, <clears throat> that live locally to where I was at the time that they graduated. Um, but a mentor can mean something a little bit different to everybody, okay? The one thing, there, there are actually several things that you need to consider when you're looking uh, for a mentor or you consider who your mentors are. Number one, you can, have, you can always have more than one mentor. I have for many years. And the other thing is that a mentor is someone who oftentimes their work and their teachings really and truly resonate with you. What I'm really hoping is, is that once you've read the Superfood and Herb Education program, that you will actually consider me as your mentor uh, because I'm hoping that my teachings, or maybe not the whole book, but everyone because they're so different, my goal is, is that if not the entire book, then parts of the book will begin to resonate and will change people's lives. That's what my goal is here. Um, <clears throat> most often, people have never even met many mentors. I mean, uh, a person could watch videos, read, read all their books and all their papers, and just from their teachings alone, um, it, it could their teachings have resonated with you in such a way that now you consider those people your mentors because anytime you want to continue reading more from that person because you've learned from that person, um, that those teachings resonate with you enough where you want more from that specific person, okay? So that's important to keep in mind when you're thinking about who a mentor is. Most likely, everyone who's watching this video already has a mentor, but they probably don't realize that they do because <clears throat> it's not someone that's personal to them or that they may or may not personally know. In most cases, it is someone, if you think about it, who, who, whose articles have you read uh, over and over? Whose books have you read? Whose videos have you watched? When you're on YouTube, do you watch 20 videos from the same person on different subjects? Well, if that is the case, then that particular person or those people are in fact considered your mentors because these are people that are teaching you um, about a, a subject that not only are they passionate about, but now you've become passionate due to their work. And that's a very exciting thing for both the student and the teacher. Okay? Um, <clears throat> The one nice thing about being a mentor is, is that mentors are also students as well because a mentor can learn from their students. The, the, the beautiful thing about learning is, is that it, just, it, it never really stops and as long as you have the desire to keep learning, you'll keep learning. When, when, one day when I'm no longer alive, my desire to continue to learn about herbal medicine will be there till the day I die. And the truth is, is that there's no one herbalist who can know everything about every single herb on the face of the earth. There, as a matter of fact, there are many herbalists who actually only maybe study five or six herbs their entire 40 or 50 year herb career. So again, the desire and the passion that you have towards learning and the mentors that help to shape you, to shape your way of thinking, are really an important tool if you really want to move forward and be the best that you can be. Okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.